Soul Tribe. Welcome to Joy Says Healing 22. My name is Kalila Joy. I'm here to bring collective message. How's everything going for you? Happy Cinco de Mayo for those who celebrate it. I'm going to do a collective message. Ooh, somebody out there need to go wash their ass or something. Somebody busted. And it ain't me. <laughs> I just got a weird smell when I looked at Sage. I don't know. Ooh, what's up, though? All right. Holy Spirit, ancestors, Spirit of the living God, thank you for the messages. Thank you for the blessings. Thank you for the divine light of protection. Ooh, I'm so ashy. Thank God for holy oil. Thank you for the divine light of protection. Lord, we ask you to continue to protect us. Amen. I wasn't supposed to work today. My daughter flaked me. It's all good, though. Let's get some messages. I am a magnet for success. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm jumping out the gate. All right. What else? What else is the messages? It says, you are attractive, massive, positive energy and miracles as you read this. Love it at. Full moon energy soul tribe. Wake me up. Wake me up. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You don't love me. You just love my doggy style. <laughs> I want to switch it, but I can't. Well, your foundations, you are a magnet for success. Things are starting to move forward. Cat, because you cast your burden on the Lord and God will sustain you. Psalms 55, 22 at the bottom of the deck. 55 is divine, is changes. 22 is divine guidance. Ascended master number. It's my life path number. You are attracting massive, powerful energies and miracles as you read this. So you are attracting in your love life positive energies. Somebody that's on your level. Someone who can match your energy. And... Well, I don't have to explain that because we are a divine group here. We don't have to say uh, you're attracting people with money and this and that and the other. But you are attracting people that's on your level emotionally, spiritually, and maybe financially. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why did I pick this up, the deck up, but I'm going to take a card anyways. You don't love me. You just love my doggy style. So you may have somebody in your in your money energy or somebody, a lover, that's trying to get you hooked on them um, sexually for they could finesse you financially. You don't, you feel like this person don't love or care about you. They just care about your, uh, they are opportunities, I heard. Yeah, you feel like they superficial. You care too much about the outward appearance. Start with your inner work and your value and your self-esteem and personality. Yeah. Either you or this person you're dealing with is very superficial in your money. You This could be somebody you work with, somebody who want to work with you, somebody who want to work with you because they think you're financially abundant or they're very superficial. <sighs> I like the fact that you go, but you are grounded. Your first sacral chakra is balance. I am a magnet for success. You are attractive, massive, positive energy and miracles as you read this. So, I'm sorry, something's going on outside of the door. But yeah, you uh, maybe you need to work on your superficiality. Maybe you need to stop caring about your outward appearance and start caring about your inner work and your value. And your self-esteem and your personality. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's weird though. <laughs> so you think somebody in your uh in your in your energy with your money, um you don't love me, you just love my doggy style. So yeah, you think somebody just only attracted you or you feel like a person you're protecting yourself from my her opportunities. Okay. All 
thought I heard something in the back. Okay, I'm tripping. I'm, I'm kind of sleepy still. All right. I'm a magnet for success. I'm a magnet for success. Yeah, something, uh, what you're not moving forward on, or you need to move forward. Could be a water sign. You are attracting. Oh, Lord. Somebody love you, baby. Somebody love, love, love you. Want to give you. You are attracting someone that uh, want to give you a big offer of commitment or people that's serious about commitment. Oh, you probably feel like that, you know, this love offer is coming from somebody that's superficial and is only offering you this because of something they think that you got or that you can give them. Okay, you need to quit being so superficial. Everybody don't need your money, so try. What are you waiting on? Somebody made a decision in your love life? Page of Pentacles. Someone will come in. Someone is slowly coming in and making some type of love or offer, but you see that's Page of Pentacles in reverse. You think this person has an alternative motive. Could be dealing with a Leo. You are the sunshine of their life. I just heard that. Oh, Lord. You see this person as being superficial. And I lie here. <laughs> what are you waiting on, water sign? Some you need to move forward on. Some you're taking your time on. You, you're waiting for something. You are a magnet for success. Oh, I just heard good things come to those who wait. Yeah, I guess so. But you got to put your best foot forward. In your love life, you are attracting massive positive energy. You got someone here that making an offer that had to make a decision that was once had you or they was trapped up in their head. And muddy, you see something coming through, but you don't figure out. You don't think it's enough and you think it's a lie. Or someone's coming in and offer you something, but it's it's a lie. Beware. What is this? Ace of Swords. Death. Something is not changing. You don't feel like something is changing. You don't feel like something's going to move in your favor. Or somebody, something's not going to move in their favor. Ugh. Ten of Swords, you've been betrayed before by this person. You don't trust them. Oh, Lord. What is going on? You working on some type of wish fulfillment. You are the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody want to celebrate with you, but you think they're deceptive. They need to, you don't feel like they close all the cycles, so you cut them off. The situation need to heal you don't want to heal it somebody get a divorce okay this reading is becoming all over the fucking place let's just stop <laughs> Ooh. okay so try okay you're a magnet for success but for whatever reason you still not moving forward you're you're you had a stand still okay so we had a nine of cups in your money, some type of offer or whatever, but you feel like it's too real to be true. You think somebody want to get your draws instead of getting some money with you. You don't trust the situation, okay? Uh, let's, 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 let's go to the energy cards and then we come back to the tarot. Magna for success. What is the energy going on? Okay, you are love. People. People trust your word. People trust you. You hold a lot of your people hearts. Oh, angel of love is here. Do you believe in miracles of love? You attract a mess of positive energy. Trust the process. Follow your intuition. You don't love me. You just love my doggy style. Look, can't nobody take nothing from you that you not want to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Somebody is deceptive. You think somebody trying to get you for your money? We got the ten of cups. You think somebody trying to uh, act like want to be like this happy family or whatever? They faking the funk. I just heard they faking the funk. Contract. 
Somebody want to keep you waiting? Or put you in... Who is you? Yeah. Uh, I think, uh, what's up, Nothing. I'm in the middle of recording. <laughs> uh, okay, so again, you're a magnet for success. You got a happy family. You, you feel like people are deceitful. Uh, it's somebody in your love life that you, you know, that's coming in, you hold this man heart, this masculine energy really like you. You, uh, somebody's trying to get a contract with you or whatever. Probably somebody you want to be romantically involved with you, but you think they just want to get with you. They are being deceptive and they just want to get with you because they think they can get something off of you. You got woman holding a heart. First chakra, uh, chakra out here. I did say that was, um... That was balanced. Something's all tied up in somebody's love life. Okay, we're going to pull two of cups. This is a soulmate. Damn, two of cups again. <laughs> you see somebody as superficial and deceptive. Okay. That's age of love. Yeah, somebody walking away or you walked away from someone. You, uh... This you hold this masculine heart, this masculine you hold their heart or they hold your heart or whatever. Somebody was left out in the cold and want to come out the cold. You walk walked away coming out the cold. What is this happy family about? Yeah, somebody is being patient or you're being patient and opposed to you know fooling yourself or dealing with situations that you know that they're no longer serving and you're not invested into deceitful people or situations. This is attracting what you deserve and what you need. Yes, you coming out this ten of swords. Somebody try to have you waiting, betrayed you. You're working really hard to get a contract or a contract with somebody or someone. Uh, yeah, somebody want to work with you. This man that holding your heart, he likes you. Y'all could be some type of possible fire couple. But well, a happy family not invested in something or someone. Somebody is deceptive. What is this deceit in the seven of pentacles in reverse, Holy Spirit? What is this deceit in seven of pentacles in reverse, Holy Spirit? Ah, an emperor, baby daddy, ex-husband, whatever. Yeah, somebody you see as deceptive or distorted masculine energy. Somebody who is mean, selfish, see things their way, narcissistic, no empathy or have no empathy, entitled. Yeah, some type of tower moment just recently happened with this individual. Yeah, yeah, somebody, this emperor had a choice in lovers or lied about having a choice in lovers. You're healing from this situation. You got the contract and Eight of Pentacles. Somebody want to work on something or somebody about to make a, some type of proposal. You may turn down this apology. You may come out your head about this. Yeah. <laughs> Higher fit again. Something's about to transform in a relationship or a situation. Whatever this emperor, whatever did to you from the past had you um treated you as an option you 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 with the ten of swords in reverse and the four of swords you're over it you're waiting patiently you're moving past that you realize this person didn't love you they love they just loved it, your doggy style they probably was using you for sex not for money yeah you put a depth uh, ending to this you're you're not moving forward with this individual some secrets gonna come out probably was dealing with a leo you no longer trust in your head the truth is out. You're probably dealing with a twin flame. You're manifesting a new soulmate. You're keeping this to yourself. Somebody don't need, don't want to cut out something and move forward because there's they, they can't cut out something. The person, this deceptive person, has not changed. They have not cut off their deceptive ways. You're not moving forward with them because they are still attached to the devil. This person is facing karma, and you are still single and beautiful. All right, y'all. Talk to you later.